gente vai falar um pouco sobre a Cafoscari. Hi. Hello, Roberta. How are you doing? Hi. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't mind, I'm going to say a couple words about about Cafoscari from sure. Portuguese for a minute. Uh, então, a Cafoscari é, é, uma, é uma universidade em Veneza, é, na Itália. É, hoje a Roberta ela veio falar um pouco para a gente é, sobre é, descobrindo a Cafoscari e o que viver em Veneza significa e como a, a Cafoscari ela se abriu para o mundo. E, bom, eu vou passar a palavra para ela. É, so, if you, if you like to tell a bit about yourself and about Cafoscari, it would be really good. Uh, the, the stand is yours and please be welcome. Thank you very much. So I didn't understand everything, but I tried. Okay. So I will share my screen. Okay. Just one second. Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. So, um, hi everyone. Again, I am Roberta and I work for the International Office Outreach and Recruitment Unit at uh, Kafoska University. So now I will just uh, make a brief introduction of the university and then explain you the list of the services that we offer to international students uh, at the university. So, um, Kafoskari is uh, Kafoska University of Venice is a public university and it was established in 1868 as the first international business school in Italy. So you can well imagine that uh, at the beginning, uh, the university was, was a master in economics and languages and international relations. Now, we are not a comprehensive university, but we have enriched uh, um, the research areas of our studies. And now we can count on cultural heritage, uh, languages and literature, uh, chemistry, philosophy, information and communication technologies, and many others. Um, so, for our university, the internationalization is really important. We are a mid-sized university, so we can count about 24,000 enrolled students. And every year, we welcome more than 1,500 international students, both exchange and enrolled students. We are first in Italy for the internationalization and we have uh, a network of more than 500 partner universities and we have more than 500 um, agreements for academic ex exchange, both study, uh, research and internship. Uh, a really um, st uh, strong point for our university is the offer of joint and double degrees. We have more than 30. Joint and double degrees are options that students have when they are enrolled in a particular uh, degree program. They can spend a period in a partner university and after getting a degree at Kaposkari, they will get one or two diplomas, but released from two universities, Kafoskari and the partner university. So you will get your diploma, but uh, getting two actually diplomas. So it is really interesting as an option. Uh, in addition to poster the name of our university, um, Kafoskari opened three different offices in the world, one in China, in Russia, and in Azerbaijan. In addition, um, we have, uh, we really want to keep a good relationship with our alumni. And for this reason, we have a really strong uh, alumni network and uh, some of them opened uh, different uh, 11 alumni chapters uh, all around the globe. We can just mention a few chapters in uh, very important cities like New York, Paris, Shanghai, um, London, Brussels and many others. Our university, as I told you, is not a comprehensive university. We have four study areas, economics, humanities, sciences and foreign languages. In total, we have eight different departments. We cover all the level uh, of, the, of the education system. So we start from the foundation year to the PhDs. So for, to, uh, for those of you who want to um, improve their language, English or Italian, according to the degree program they are interested in, if it is offered in English or in Italian. Uh, for those who um, 
for those who have uh, just 11 years of schooling or for those who just want to improve better their knowledge before starting the university, we offer the foundation year. The foundation year is divided into four different tracks, economics, humanities, science and architecture and design, art and design, because it is done in collaboration with um, UOF, that it is the uh, architecture university in Venice. There are some common classes and then the students would improve their language, as I told you, English or Italian. Generally, uh, we have many programs at the bachelor level uh, in all the areas that I mentioned before. But if you are just interested in those courses offered in English, we have business administration, economics and business, digital management, hospitality, philosophy international and economic studies. But let's go deep about the services that we offer to the students. Um, the goal of our university is to give uh, to the students uh, an interdisciplinary preparation. We don't want just to uh, we don't we don't want you just to be prepared in a specific area. We want to have a rich and competitive curriculum when you finish the university. For this reason, even if you decided to study in English, we offer you the possibility to attend classes of Italian language and culture. Uh, you can deep your knowledge uh, attending minor classes, so um, courses of a different study areas of the one you are enrolled in, contamination labs, mobility programs, and joint double degrees. This is just a map of the um, of the, the networks that we have all around the globe, and you can see that we cover all the continents. We understand that some students, some of you, when you decide to come to another country um, and uh, above all, if it is the first experience that you have abroad, uh, they are not interested in going abroad in order to have an international experience. So we offer uh, an international experience in Venice for those of you who still want to keep their um, international, uh, to have an international curriculum. We have three different schools. Cafosca International College, the School for International Education, and the Venice International University. Cafosca International College and Venice International University are two particular um, schools uh, that offer um, students to attend classes with other Italian and international students uh, from many different countries uh, and universities because they are sort of consortium and we, there, there is a particular relationship between Cafoscari. So uh, you will have the opportunity to attend special classes like uh, in particular theme, theme sorry, sorry, like uh, um, sustainability, uh, climate ex exchange and many others. The School for International Education instead is the, um, is the school who uh, is in charge of generally summer schools and the foundation year. Uh, we have two uh, main summer schools with Harvard, uh, Harvard and Columbia University. So you will have also have the opportunity to attend classes with the professors from those uh, institutions. Um, for those students who arrive from another country, uh, we can understand that maybe at the beginning it is difficult to um, feel comfortable to understand what, which steps have to be taken at the beginning. So for this reason, uh, we have decided to create many different services. The first one is the welcome unit and the immigration team. This this office, these two services are uh, those in charge of the, applica the application process, the enrollment moment, and uh, um, all the procedures that the, bro the, 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 bro the bureaucratic uh, procedures that the students uh, need to uh, solve one, once they arrive in Venice. For example, there's uh, the permit of stay, the health insurance, the, the visa, etc. Uh, so if you need any uh, support, uh, they are the ones uh, in charge of uh, helping you uh, facing these uh, topics. Then, uh, be given that we don't want you to, uh, to sleep under the bridges of our beautiful city, uh, we have an housing office. Uh, this office uh, will help you to find an accommodation. The financial aid office will help you uh, find, uh, understand if you have the opportunity to win a scholarship or uh, an economical uh, support. The buddy program uh, is the program that uh, um, gives you 
the opportunity to have uh, current unenrolled students, a current enrolled students, uh, um, next to you in the, in the moment in which you need support uh, regarding, for example, uh, you need to find your accommodation, to go to your accommodation, you need a pickup service, uh, you need uh, help to go to the bank or to the post office and many other things or just to make new friends because they are students like you, your peers, and they are um, they understand that it is nice at the beginning of an experience abroad to have some people, to, you know, uh, as soon as you arrive. Then we have campus student, student mentors, so students or teaching assistants that help you facing problems in particular um, courses. And then uh, three years ago, we almost three years ago, we launched the COVID counseling. So if you need to, if you need help in order to face um, difficulties that you have uh, because of COVID, of COVID uh, these counselors will help you to face them. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the news about the scholarships for 2022-23 now because they will be published in November 21. But just to give you an idea of what we did until last year, uh, we offer the scholarships of 5,000 euros and uh, uh, renewable fee waivers. In addition, um, Kafoskari uh, is part of this uh, regional government scholarship. And for those students uh, who arrive in Venice and have the economic um, and have a financial family income uh, who is disadvantaged, disadvantaged compared to others, um, we also offer the opportunity to um, apply for this regional uh, scholarship. Uh, but this is just possible uh, to, um, to receive once you arrive in Venice. Uh, so, regarding the home, um, as I told you, we have this housing office. Generally, there are two types of student residence, uh, two types of student residences, and then we offer private apartments. So, the student residences can be regional government student residences or privately managed student residences. Uh, international students generally prefer to live outside Venice because the historic center is a little bit um, expensive. But uh, uh, closer cities like Mestre, uh, Treviso, Mogliano, that are just 10, 20 minutes by train or by bus far away from Venice, are cheaper. So you will find more international students in those uh, locations. Here you have some pictures of the residencies that we offer to the students. This is uh, the Santa Marta campus, uh, campus, so close to the linguistic and humanities campuses. Uh, the new residence close to the economic campus, San Giobbe. And we are now also building uh, the new residence close to the scientific campus in Mestre. We also offer the opportunity to students to um, go to our uh, canteens uh, with, the, with um, advantage prices for uh, students with the student card that you will receive once you uh, become students of Kafoskari. Here you have just a, a list of some of them in Venice, in Mestre, in Treviso and other bars close to the campuses. Uh, one of the things that I really like to promote uh, for international students is the welcome week, the welcome activities. Uh, the welcome days and the welcome week are those moments in which we dedicate uh, um, our um, many efforts to uh, illustrate, to show to the international students step by step what they have to do once they arrive. Uh, we help them to integrate with other, to meet other students, to be, to, to, to become part of the uh, Kafoskari community. We organize many, many different moments like campus tours, um, event, um, meetings, uh, uh, board games, uh, international breakfast, uh, uh, quiz online, uh, treasure hunts. Uh, so different moments in which you can, um, it could be easier for you to settle in uh, um, the life in Venice. In addition, during the year, we organize many other different events like a happy hour or uh, moments with the students' associations, etc. Here uh, we have uh, we started explaining you a little bit about the campus tutors. There are few different uh, types of tutors. These are the informative ones. So those who help you uh, at the beginning um, 
um, providing you information about uh, the administrative procedures and deadline, um, how courses work, uh, how, to, uh, how to fill in your study plan, how to uh, prepare for an exam or to book an exam, and, uh, and many other things. Then we have the course uh, tutors for milestone courses. So those courses who are more challenging and students face many more difficulties to, um, to take the exams. They are students who uh, support those students who need help to, um, to be able to uh, attend classes and uh, to, um, to pass the exam. Then we have the teaching assistant that are uh, provided for particular courses and they help professors in uh, preparing the classes, uh, uh, taking the exams, uh, uh, with gui uh, preparing guidance and uh, with assignments. And then uh, we have the online tutors for those courses who are blended, so or online or half online and half in person. As I told you, uh, we don't want you just to be uh, to be prepared in a specific area. We want you to be interdisciplinary. Um, we want you to take different classes, uh, to uh, to be part of many different, to attend many different, to take advantage of many different cultural activities. So. Uh, one of these options, in order to uh, be able to have a rich uh, curriculum, a rich study plan, we offer students the opportunity to take the to attend minors. So these are modules uh, made of three different classes, and and these uh, generally minors are uh, of study area completely different from the one you are enrolled in. We have also uh, some offered in English and some of them include energy, climate change, environmental risk and social innovation management for smart community. community. Another uh, extracurricular activity that it is uh, really interesting above all for MBA students uh, is the contamination lab. Uh, this is a lab that you uh, will uh, take with other students for six or two, eight weeks. And um, this lab uh, enhances students' creativity and supports creativity and sustainable ideas by launching new companies or transforming existing ones. Um, so the idea is to um, give inspiration to new solutions for urgent, urgent problems related to the economy, politics and society. Recent lab themes uh, include digital transformation, sustainability and creative industry. Um, the study in Venice Consortium, it is something pa really particular because in Venice we don't, there is not just a Caposcari, there are also uh, the UAV, the Architecture and Design University, Benedetto Marcello Conservatory of Music, Performance and Theory, and Academia di Belle Arti, the Fine Arts. Uh, Thanks to, uh, thank to this consortium, students can attend, uh, can be enrolled at Caposcari, but also taking classes to one of these uh, uh, institutions and have the credits that they, that they get in this institution recognized in their study plan. Something that it is really important is that uh, for our university, it's really important to prepare the students for the job market. For this reason, we have a really strong career service office, career service, and um, the career service organizes uh, many events during the year, online and offline, according to the possibility, in which students can have the possibility to meet companies, uh, take a job interview, uh, ask tips to um, staff of, of particular offices of these uh, companies. In addition, uh, they organize the competency center for soft skills development and students in this uh, competency center have the, uh, have the possibility to understand which are their strengths, uh, how to uh, highlight them uh, and, you know, and to develop their skills uh, in order to be well prepared when they face uh, the job market. Uh, for those uh, uh, for those students who are non EU students, uh, when once you get the um, visa, uh, the study visa, sorry, uh, you know that you can work 20 hours per week and you have once one year to stay in Italy in order to get a job. Okay, so um, here you have a, a, a map of Venice and the, the cities in which we have campuses. You can see that everything is. Um, pretty close. Uh, the, the most far away um, 
CD is Treviso that it is just 20, 25 minutes by train. And you can see that the Venice airport is really close and it is just 15 minutes by, by bus. Venice, uh, you can see that it, it has a shape of a fish and the linguistics and humanities campuses in the city are scattered all around, the all around Venice. Instead, the economic campus is circumscribed in a specific area. It is because the humanities and linguistic campuses are the ancient and the classical ones, so the more elegant. And here you have some pictures. Instead, the economic and the, the scientific campus are the newest one. And they have uh, um, also particular labs, uh, libraries, libraries, everything is there. You can see that we have also the Bloomberg Lab. This is the scientific campus with the labs and the library. This is just a picture of where our BAME digital management is located, and it is in Roncade in the, uh, in the courtyard, in the, uh, in the campaign. Then we have, um, okay, here we have just a list of some events that generally are organized together with, the, uh, are organized by Cafoscari uh, together in order to put in practice what the students uh, uh, learn and to um, involve also the community in, uh, um, in the Cafoscari life. This is the Veneto night, so the night for the researchers where they show their experiments. The art night where you can see um, uh, exhibitions uh, all around the city and the museums are open for free. In Croce di Civiltà, the lecture uh, festival, the short film festival, the Musica Foscari, the science gallery. Uh, here you have also a list. Uh, once you become a Foscari, a Foscarino, you can be part also one of, of uh, the students' associations uh, of our university. You will, uh, you, will, um, you will know for sure ESN, ISEC, but we also have other interesting like the Venice Diplomatic Society, Invenismant and Marketers. We have a sports center where you, where you can uh, practice uh, many different sport activities like tennis, skiing, uh, uh, rowing, volleyball. Then we also have a Dragon Ball team and you can be part of it. And you can also be part of the Cafoscari Theater. I don't know if you have ever been to Venice, but it is a particular city. No cars, no bike. You just have to walk and go all around by, by boat. You can see it, it, is, um, it is an island in the middle of the sea. But let's break some stereotypes about our, our city. People think that it is always flooded, just a touristic city, and you got, you, it is just for uh, romantic moments and just going there for drinking wine and riding in a gondola. Instead, there is much more. Um, Venice is a student city because, as, I, as you saw, uh, that there are many different institutions. And floating lasts just a few hours at most uh, and only in certain periods of the year. And now we also have the MOSE system that protects the city by the high tide. And Venice is an international and interesting city because it offers many um, cultural events uh, all around the year. Here you can see just a few pictures and you can also see that we have beaches where students love to go uh, above all after the summer break, uh, the summer exam session. And here you have pictures of the Biennale of Art, the Carnival and the Festival of the Redimir that are some, just some of the most famous events that are organized in our city. Uh, last information for you, uh, I told you that Cafoscari is a public university, so it is affordable because the Itali Italian government, given that it wants to give access to the university to most of the students, uh, bears most of the cost of the university. So for students, uh, no new students, the cost will be 1,100 euros for the bachelor's degree. Except for the digital management and the hospitality course, the degree program, sorry, because they are particular, innovative, and uh, organized with a private organization. So uh, my presentation is over. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to ask me a question, you can write to prospective.students at univay.it. And I really invite you to uh, um, follow our Instagram account, Student Life in Venice, because it is a, an account managed by our international students. Uh, and what they want to do is to show life in Venice. So how, uh, how their life is going on in Venice, uh, thanks to Cafoscari. In addition, if you want to talk to, talk to one of our uh, international students, you can um, look in the website apply.univay.it and search for chat with an international student and you can book a, a Zoom call with them.
Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you, Roberta. Uh, so we have a couple of questions. Uh, sure. Let me stop. So the okay. first okay. one is Carlos. Yeah, I think it stopped already. Okay. Uh, so he he asked. Um, he's currently enrolled in a graduation program in Brazil, and he wanted to ask if there's a special program in Cafuscari that would allow him to get enrolled in the university and get credits from it for a short period of time, for, like for a semester or a year. Okay, so um, if I understood well, sorry, because the connection is not really good. Uh, so he is currently enrolled in a university, right? Yes. Okay, so we have a particular program that it is called uh, Visiting Student. And um, even if there is no partnership between uh, his university and Cafoscari, the student can come to Cafoscari for a semester or an academic year in order to get credits uh, to do thesis research, uh, or maybe if it is possible, but it is difficult now uh, for internship, but it is possible, of course. Okay, uh, and Julio asked about what's the situation with COVID, if there's any perspective okay. of Brazilians going to Italy again. Okay, so um, it is difficult to say now for Brazilian students because you know that things change so fast and so often that it is difficult to tell you that you have to do a quarantine moment, etc. So we have to check in the moment in which you decide to come to Italy. But what we can tell you is that we have started to be in class, not 100% yet, but 50% uh, and students can book their, their spot uh, in class. But we also offer the opportunity to do online, uh, to attend the classes online. Starting from the, first, the second semester, we want to be back 100%. We will, we will always offer the opportunity to be, to have the classes register, uh, online. But uh, we invite students to come to Italy in order to attend classes in person because we want to be to go back to normal activities. Perfect. Yeah, good news. Uh, we also have a question. Uh, so I think you might know, but lots of Brazilians have uh, European citizenships. And we have a question to if what's the difference between the application from uh, a Brazilian with a new e e EU citizenship and one without one? So those who have the European citizenship, actually, they, um, they are a little bit more advantaged because they will have much time to uh, apply because the next year, for example, the application deadline for non-EU students will be May 3rd, instead of for EU students uh, will be tw uh, June 27th. So you, they have more time to apply. In addition, uh, they uh, will have they will pay a little bit less, so one thousand eight hundred ninety four euros per year. It is just six euros less, but it is not something. Uh, uh, it is better a little bit. Yeah, great. And the last one is about the language. Uh, would you say it's? Oh, going sorry. In to... addition, they don't need the. They will have less, uh, they will be a little bit uh, more advantage when they uh, come to Italy because they have a European citizenship. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier than with the the airport and stuff. Exactly. Uh, and the, the last question is about the language. Uh, in your experience, do you, do you believe it's for, for uh, a student that comes only with English, how long does it take for him to get adapted and start speaking Italian with like more nationality? Okay. So it depends a lot on the students because we have many international students that after three years, they just speak English. They don't want to speak Italian because they have always, um, uh, they have always taken classes in English. They have made, uh, they made new, for new friends, uh, international students. Uh, so they just had the opportunity to speak uh, English. But there are many, many who prefer, may, maybe, I don't know, to uh, be part of the sports center, uh, to extracurricular activities. So they had to um, make new efforts, uh, more efforts in order to learn Italian and to be part of of the 
um, Italian community. But of course, if they are also asking, wondering if they need Italian to survive in Venice, no, of course, because I can assure you that student, we have many students just English speaking. But um, we also offer students to take uh, Italian classes so they can start learning the language and then they can, um, I don't know, um, they can be brave and uh, take many different activities in the city in order to improve the language by themselves. Okay, perfect. I think that answers the question. Uh, thank you very much, Roberta. You're welcome. It was uh, a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was really informative. I, I, I personally really liked the presentation. Thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so, so you, you can that, talk. If you want to ask me questions, come to the booth. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, thank you.